time opportunity that the Lord has given to us. I want to appreciate you. Uh, kindly make sure that you share and let us be blessed together this morning. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Jasper Mose of the Reference Church, Kisumu City. We are in a blessed city. We thank God for Kisumu, we thank God for Kenya, and we thank God for the whole world. Allow me to share the word of God shortly, uh, because at this particular moment of time, we need the word of God. This is what will encourage us, this is what will lift us, and this is what will keep us living. Brothers and sisters, this morning shortly, in a few minutes, I want to share about dealing with principalities and the powers of darkness. How we can be able to deal with the principalities, powers of darkness that come against us. We are threatened from every corner. Man, that is humanity, is under threat, is under attack. But we have the power of God. We have victory, and our victory is in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you in your office. I want to encourage you in your house that victory belongs to you, and victory belongs to us. Friends, I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 12. Ephesians 6, 12, uh, very quickly. The Bible says in verse number 12 of Ephesians chapter 6, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That is not we fight against. That is not what we are against. But the Bible says, But we fight against the following against principalities that's number one against principalities number two against powers number three against the rulers of darkness of this world darkness of this world number four against spiritual wickedness in high places in high places friends as humans and believers we face an evil army from the kingdom of darkness whose goal is to defeat and kill the church. The purpose of the enemy, the purpose of demons and powers of darkness is to fight and kill the church. And that's why brothers and sisters, there are many men and women who are against the church. They are against what the church is doing but we thank god because god is on our side these are strongholds against the progress and breakthroughs of the children of god they are against our breakthroughs they are against our progress friends remember that we are not fighting against human beings we are fighting against principalities against powers of darkness that have come against the children of God. One thing I will assure you is that God will fight for us. God will stand with us. Don't fear and don't run away from the powers of darkness. We face them with the word of God. We face them with the blood of Jesus. We face them with the power that is found in the name of Jesus. When you believe in Christ, when you believe in Christ, these demonic forces become your enemy and they try everything possible to stop you from succeeding in life. The purpose of the demonic forces, the powers of darkness, is to stop an individual from succeeding, to stop an individual from believing in God. That is why, brothers and sisters, we are being fought on daily basis from every corner, from every side, because the enemy is after your success. The enemy is after your victory. The enemy is after your dream. Although we are assured of victory, although we are assured of victory, we must engage in the struggle until Christ returns. 
we must engage ourselves in a spiritual battle. We must become fighters. You must fight for your life. You must fight for your family. You must stand on the gap and fight for that which God has given to you. Child of God, you need the supernatural power, the supernatural authority to deal with these strongholds. You cannot fight them with your own strength. You need the supernatural power. You need the packing of the word of God. Brothers and sisters, you must be a fighter in life in order to survive, in order to live, in order to receive the blessings that belong to you. So God has called us to fight the good fight of faith. That is what God has called us to do. And this morning in the name of Jesus, I want you to be assured in your office, in, your, in, 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 in any place where you are, that God will enable you to win this battle. No matter where the battle is coming from, the battle may be coming from uh, where you came from, the battle may be coming from your, your friends, the battle may be coming from your relatives. Please, you are not fighting human beings. We are fighting principalities. We are fighting powers of darkness. Become a fighter. Stand strong by the authority of the word of God. God has called us to fight. And because you are a fighter, and because God will not leave you, God will not forsake you, you are sure of winning this battle. Brothers and sisters, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse number 12. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the internal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You made a confession and you decided to be a child of God in the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, men and women of God this morning, I want to assure us that we have victory in Jesus' name. We are an army and we are at war, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These are the battles we are fighting as children of God. Men and women of God, at this particular moment of time, there are men and women who cannot raise their heads high up simply because of fear, because of torments, because of the many things and many battles that we are fighting on daily basis. I want to assure you, child of God, that the God who is in heaven, the God who created you, the God who understands your beginning and your end, will make sure that you come out victoriously and strong. A good fighter must know the following quickly. If you, if you want to succeed, you want to be, uh, you, to be a good fighter, then you must know the following quickly, and I'm going to mention them in the next few minutes. Number one, you always get and have in your life what you believe for and say. I repeat again, you, all, you, will, you will always get and have in your life what you believe for and say what you confess what you believe that is what you will have friends if you do not believe what you say then you should not say it if you continue to confess failure you will become a failure if you confess defeat you will be defeated believe in yourself believe in the words that come out of your mouth confess the word of god Always confess, I am victorious, I am successful, I have conquered, I will, I will be a child who will not be defeated in the kingdom of God. Numbers chapter 13, verse number 30, the Bible says, The Amorites live in the Negev, the Hittites, the Chupestites, and the Amorites live in the hill country, and the Canaanites live near the sea along the Jordan. Numbers 14, 19, in accordance with your great love, forgive the sin of these people, just as you have pardoned them from the time they left Egypt until now. Joshua and Caleb did not deny that there were giants in the land. There were giants there. They were uh, men who, were, who looked bigger than them. But listen to this. But they said, 
our God is well able to deliver us. Our God is well able to deliver us or to deliver them into our hands. Yes, they may look big. Yes, they may look, they may look giants. But our God is well able. I want to declare to us, brothers and sisters, that the battles you are fighting, the, the challenges you are going through right now, those challenges and battles are not permanent. We are well able to overcome the giants and possess the land. We are well able. We will possess the land. We will receive our victory. We will receive our healing. The ten spies defeated themselves by what they said, what they confessed. That is what defeated them. What comes out of your mouth will determine how far you can go in life. What comes out of your mouth. There are many people continue confessing death, con continue confessing failure. I want to ask us this morning, in the name that is above every name, that we begin to confess victory, we begin to confess success, we con begin to confess that which we believe will happen. These ten spices were not able to enter the land. They were not able to enter because they confessed defeat before even they tried. Brothers and sisters, I want to declare to us that no matter how many people are dying or how many people will die, you will not die. Confess life. Confess victory. Confess the hand of God upon your life. Your victory and success is in your turn. Your victory and success is in your turn. What you carry is powerful. What you declare, you become. Brothers and sisters, uh -huh. they are wrong thinking. And confession destroyed them. Their wrong thinking and confession destroyed them. There are very many wonderful people, wonderful children of God, believers who have destroyed themselves by what they confess. It is true, maybe you don't have money. It is true you are sick. It is true you come from a poor background. It is true you never went to school. It is true you've gone to school, you are qualified, but you've not gotten a job. Never confess negativity in your life. Confess victory. Confess success. Those giants will come down. That problem will be destroyed. That challenge is nothing before God. Their wrong thinking and confession have said destroyed them. What we continue to confess will destroy us or build us. Wrong believing and wrong thinking Wrong believing and wrong talking can give your enemy a chance to finish you. Friends, it's not the giants in life who defeat believers. It's not the giants. It's not the problems. It's not sicknesses and diseases that defeat humanity. It is not storms of life that defeat believers or defeat people. If you are defeated, you have defeated yourself. You've defeated yourself. Number one, by wrong thinking. Number two, by wrong believing. And number three, by wrong talking. I will repeat it again, child of God. I want you to know that in your house, in your office, where you are, you cannot be defeated. Jesus is Lord. Jesus has conquered and has given us victory. The, the blood of Jesus is on our side. The name Jesus is a stronger tower. The Bible says the righteous run to it and they are safe. I want to declare that you are safe. I want to declare that you are protected by the blood of Jesus. Child of God, don't live in fear. If you are defeated, you have defeated yourself. And I want you to get this one clear and straight. If you are defeated, you have defeated yourself by the following. Number one, by wrong thinking. Number two, by wrong believing. And number three, by wrong talking. The way we talk, the way we think, and the way we analyze things will determine how far we will go in life. Friends, brothers and sisters, men and women of God, we have a great God. Refuse to lose any battle as a believer. If you are a believer and you believe in God, 
you will not lose any battle. Refuse to be intimidated. Refuse to live in fear. Right now, brothers and sisters, men and women of God, people are living in fear because of sicknesses and diseases. People are living in fear because they don't know what will happen tomorrow. We want to declare in the name of Jesus that tomorrow is in the hands of God. God must give you victory over all the powers of darkness. Victory is yours. No power of darkness will destroy you. No power of darkness will destroy your future. Our children are protected by the blood of Jesus. I want to declare in the name that is above every name this morning, that in the name of Jesus, God has already given you victory. God has already given me victory. Success is our portion. Victory is our portion. Brothers and sisters, God uh, God has given you spiritual weapons that are mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds, things that are, uh, that, that are pulling you down, things that are making you to be afraid of life. God has equipped the ass to be spiritual soldiers in the army of the Lord, spiritual soldiers. We fear nothing. We are not afraid of what they are afraid of. We are not going to live in fear and torment. God has given us victory. Friends, vic victorious words from a victorious soldier will destroy strongholds in your life. There are things that keep on destroying you, that keep on appearing in your life, keep on following you. Those are the strongholds in life. By the power of your confession, by the power of the word of God, God has already given you victory. Friends, look at the victorious words Paul wrote when his life on the earth was through, uh, was, was through danger. In 2 Timothy 4, 6 to 8, and I finish. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. In verse number 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. In verse number 8, now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. We fail many times because we get ready to fail. I'm not ready to fail. Don't fail in life. Friends, brothers and sisters, thank you for listening to me. I want to declare in the name of Jesus that victory is yours. Success is yours. Healing is your portion. Blessings, power of God and favor is your portion. I want to declare in the name that is above every name that every stronghold in your life is destroyed and uprooted in Jesus' mighty name. I want to declare no sickness. I want to declare no failure will follow you from today. Uh, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. You will enjoy the day. Thank you so much for listening. The Lord abundantly bless you. We will come back later with the message of tithing, offerings, and sacrifices. May the Lord our God give you victory in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost have declared, in Jesus' mighty name I pray, you are blessed.